removing my makeup. What I'm using to remove my makeup is almond oil. It is so good for your skin and this just gently removes your makeup and takes everything off super easy so you're not being really harsh on your skin or your face. So I just take a little bit in my hand and then rub it into my skin and into my face and then I just use a baby wipe to really just take off the makeup. I don't really use it very harshly or anything like that because that wouldn't be good. And the makeup just comes off super super easy so that's why I love using this method. The oil method is honestly one of the best. Alright, so moving on to exfoliating, I exfoliate almost every night just to take off all of my dead skin layers. I don't suggest this really for sensitive skin, but I'm using my Aveeno Brightening Exfoliator, something like that, I'll leave it down below and I just rub that into my face a little bit, but then I go in with my favorite, favorite brush which changed my skin, like this is like, I can't even tell you how much this changed my skin. This thing right here got rid of all of my dark marks, but you have to use it with consistent use or it will not work for you. So yeah, I do have a coupon code for this, 70% off. I honestly recommend this, a gift for your friends, for yourself, for your mama. It's actually really, really bomb. So yeah, you can get this for 30 bucks. Just use my coupon code down below. So if you want your skin to be on fleek, this is the product you need. Alright, so once I'm done rinsing my face, you can see that my brush is pretty dirty. Um, it does take off like all the extra makeup that you might have not got. So I'm just going to take some soap and clean it off and it's good as new. So it's super easy to clean and yeah, it just does magic for your skin. So to tone my face, I do use aloe vera gel. Some people say it's not a toner, but that's what I use it for and it works for me. And this just really brightens my skin, makes it very radiant, glowy, all of that good stuff. You will see um, your skin look a lot brighter if you do use this product. You have to use it again consistently and love that it's natural. Natural is the way to go, for me at least. So now it's on to moisturizing my face. In the nighttime, I only use shea butter. Not the shea butters that you get at the beauty supply store. I use like the 100% you know, somebody making it from their house type stuff because that's what works amazing for my skin. Shea butter is known to treat many skin problems including blemishes, acne scars, wrinkles, any skin wounds, eczema. There's just so many uses for shea butter and yeah, it's just bomb. So lately because I've been wearing a bit more eye makeup, I've been using it under eye cream. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This is very thick and creamy. I really like this stuff for my under eyes just to keep it nice and hydrated. So I like to use this every other night. And a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to really gently rub that and pat that into my under eye. Because you know the skin is very sensitive there and we're not trying to get no premature wrinkles. So this is my skin after doing my routine, so now we're just going to jump in the shower and I'm going to show you guys my body care routine. So I like to use any natural soap along with my African net or sponge, usually a soap that's brightening to the skin. I actually did suffer with acne scarring on my back, my shoulders, and the back of my thighs, so using the sponge as well as the combination with the brightening soap has really, really helped me and got rid of all of that. So now I just have like glowy, radiant skin all year round, whether it's summer, spring, winter, fall, it doesn't matter. And also I will try to link this sponge down for you down below in my parcel shop, so check out my parcel shop. Alright, so once I hop out of the shower, it's time to moisturize my skin. I only use 100% shea butter because that's what works best for me and my skin. I know a lot of you guys, when you guys come out of the shower, you guys don't lotion your skin. I know you guys don't. You guys only put cream on the parts that are showing and what you're wearing. Sometimes you don't even get your knees or your elbows. That's all bad, okay? If you guys want glowy skin, you have to moisturize your skin at all times, especially if you have dry skin, okay? Okay, so once I'm done showering, I just like to put on something super comfortable, usually like a tracksuit, a sweatsuit, 